Hey guys, today I want to talk about something I mentioned in a video a few days ago. It's called Hit by a Truck Lighting, and it confused a lot of people. I suggested that it's probably not a good idea to shine light directly at people because it kind of gives that hit by a truck sensation. And a lot of people argued, hey, well, I see a lot of DJs, even like big time DJ companies, set their lights up or they're shooting them directly at their audience. This probably isn't always the case. Right now, I'm experiencing hit by truck lighting. And from the DJ's perspective, if I'm out here, it looks like I'm nice and bright and red and it's really festive. But if you look at it from the audience's perspective, and I'll just turn the camera around, they're just getting hit by a truck. There's just bright lights in their eyes. Have you ever seen, like in the movies, when someone's about to get hit by a truck, they go like this, ah! They put their arm up in front of their eyes. I don't think they're trying to protect themselves from the truck that's going to hit them. I think they're trying to keep themselves from being blinded before they get hit by the truck. There are ways to do this where you can definitely wash your dance floor, but you don't have to shine these lights right at people where you get this semi-on-its-way effect. Here, check this out. One thing to remember about something like a PAR fixture like this, it's a wash fixture. It's not a tight beam, and it's not even a spot it gives a real huge beam angle and it washes all over the room. So if you took these lights and simply tilted them out a little bit, away from anyone's eyes who's on the dance floor, let me show you something. Okay, first of all, you can already tell that you can see me better because those lights aren't shining at the camera anymore. So here I am from the DJ's perspective. You can see that I am completely blue and now it's kind of turning into a burgundy and eventually going to become a red. I'll be totally red, but these lights are not shining directly in my eyes or at me. They're shining to the sides of the room. So I can open my eyes wide and not be in any pain like I was before, but I'm still getting that color wash. See, check this out. If I bring the tripod out here and turn it around, I haven't pointed out slightly. That's not nearly as harsh. And you can see that the light is actually hitting the wall. And, I don't know, somewhere over here as well. The wash effect does just that. Again, like I said, it washes, but it also reflects off of surfaces. This time, let's point the lights up. You don't have to go straight up, but you kind of do this. Up at an angle, a little bit. Makes a big difference. Now, you can already see that they're not shining directly at the camera. You can see me fine. So here we are from the DJ's perspective. You can see that the color is still hitting me. No problem at all. These lights are not in my eyes. Let's turn it around and look at it from the crowd's perspective. It's not nearly as harsh. Now something else I want you to notice. The lights are behind me. And they're shooting up on the ceiling. Notice I'm getting wash on my face and on my shirt even though the light source is behind me. They're reflecting off the ceiling right there. So from the DJ's perspective, what you're looking at right now is a combination of up and to the side. This creates a fine wash. As you can see, I am changing color. And these lights, again, are not in my eyes. Here, check it out from the audience's perspective. And I'm facing away from the lights, and I'm still changing color because it's just bouncing around the room like that. They're going up and to the side. So no danger of anybody getting hit in the face, and you probably spread more light around the room. And the lights are actually hitting up here in the corner, and up here in the corner. How about if we point the lights down? I've already pointed the other light down. Let's point this light down. Now what is that gonna do for us? Sometimes this is a great way to aim your pars for a couple of different reasons. Number one, you're not shining in anybody's eyes. Number two, notice, you can really see what's going on on the DJ table. If you're a performance DJ, this is great. They can see you mixing or whatever you're doing. And you do absolutely get wash on the dance floor. As you can see, I am still changing colors. So there's just a little bit of my philosophy on this hit by truck lighting, how to avoid it, right ways and wrong ways to do pars like this. And this is just my opinion and my take on things. It's not gospel. But I hope it helps some of you think about how you are aiming your par fishers as you're out there gigging. Because, you know, the last thing you want to do is cause anybody pain or discomfort. This type of smart aiming of your pars is going to avoid 
making anybody uncomfortable. So there you have it. There's a quick video for you. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.